I got super excited when I got this board. It's a prototype of a synthesizer, touch controlled synthesizer with a touch sensor and the daisy seed. Um, but I actually didn't really have the stereo jacks. Um, I put mono jacks instead and I need to now take them off. So let's see how we do that. We can see that we have three pads for each jack. So the easiest way to do this, probably, is to desolder one and then desolder two and sort of fiddle with them a little bit until they go out. Let's see how we do this. A couple of things we'll need is a desolder weak and a pump. Um, you don't really have to have both of them, you could also have only one, uh, but I'm going to try to show you how to do it with both. So first of all, let's clean our soldering iron, and you can see that my soldering iron is quite shiny. This is how the tip should look like. It's about 280 degrees now, um, which many of you might think is not enough, but it's actually perfect for this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bit of solder on my tip, I'm going to clean it, and then I'm going to touch one of these and try to fiddle with it to see if I can push it out. And you see, it actually is quite easy to push it out. Can you see it in the video? Yeah, you see I'm just like pushing it out, like this. So, it's now in this position. Now, with this one, because I actually have two pads here, I'll need to add a bit of solder. This might be confusing because you might expect me to, first of all, take solder out, but I don't because um, when you don't have solder in, uh, inside, then it actually makes it harder to take the components out. If I would instead add solder, and because I have here two, I need to sort of bridge them with a lot of solder. This will allow me to warm up these two pads together. And if I warm them up together, I can pull them out together. Then I can Pull on this again, pull on this again, and this is out. See? Let's try to do another one. Um, okay. So, let's start with this guy, and now you can even see it's even easier because I can uh, pull on it from here. Just gonna clean my tip a bit, warm this up, pull gently, not all the way to the end because it is going to bend too much. And then I'm going to add some solder here. So I can bridge them. You can see that I have uh, bridged the two pads here. And now if I warm it up, pull it out, pull this out. Okay, now I can clean it up. I do see that the, a piece of the board came out here, and this can happen sometimes, which is very annoying. 
Um, there's not much I can do about it now. Let's first of all clean this up and see what we're looking at, because it's a bit hard to see now. Let's use the solder pump. Just gonna press on it to the end. Um, you could get these really cheap Amazon for like, I don't know, two or three euros. I'm gonna put it here, warm it up. This is okay. This is also okay. And the last one. Okay, so this is a bit stuck let's try to see if uh, we might need to add a bit of solder to take it out um, again if if the solder is stuck inside and it doesn't have uh, flux so like flux is the thing that makes the solder sort of flow See, now that I added solder, because the solder has flux inside, it, uh, yeah, it just, it just went out much, much easier. Now let's try to use the, uh, the, the other technique, so using the solder weak, I'm gonna cut this axis out because what we need is to get the heat transfer. Um, and if you have a long piece, then uh, the heat transfer is not that great. We're going to clean the solder tip and try to press on this. It might also require some adding some solder. Let's give it a try. Okay, you can see how it's sucking the solder and I just move the solder wick a little bit around I'm not pressing too hard actually not pressing at all and let's it's now a bit stuck on it yeah let's take it out this looks good maybe even easier okay let's try this again See? Now it feels a bit dry. I need to add some solder for it to actually work. Let's have a look. This is still not completely clean. Let's cut the axis again. And try from uh, I guess I need to add some solder. Look, this is actually a good lesson. You see how dry the tip looks like in comparison to what it was before? It was like really silvery. We need to put some solder on it. And clean it up. And put more solder and clean it again and see how it looks like now this is how it should look like now it will transfer heat much better and let's try to do this again you see so you really don't want to fight with it it should just flow if it doesn't flow, did I do this off angle, off camera? Uh, okay, let's try to do the other one. Hopefully I'm gonna do this inside of the camera view. Okay, 
Okay, so let's add some solder. This is a stubborn one. Let's try to see from the other side again. There we go. We have all holes cleaned up. Now before we continue, I just want to double check that the connections are still working okay. So I'm going to use my beeping tool. This is a multimeter and it's going to beep if there is a connection. So let's see, uh, I should have here on the input connection to, I'm assuming, 15 or 16. Okay, and then this one should be connected to 15. Uh oh, okay, so this is not connected to 15. But let's see from the other side, is it connected to 15? It's not good. No. Hmm. Let's try the other ones, but let's see if we can uh, patch a solution here. So uh, let's check this one. This should be 18. Yeah, that's okay. And that should be 19. That's okay. And this should be ground. Ground, we have a lot of places here. Let's say here and here. Okay, good. So all the rest are working. The only uh, place where I have a problem is 15. What I'm going to try to do first is to connect the two jacks and simply solder them as is. So. And let's have a look. This looks okay. And now the question is, if 15 that we had an issue with is working or not and I can try to see if maybe inside of that pad it was connected so maybe with the solder it is connected but it is not so you can see that 16 oh sorry let's see beep so 16 is working 15 is not working how do we solve this? Okay, let's take a little wire. We have a wire and we can connect this wire to 15 here and then we can connect this wire to the jack here. So we'll need it to be about this long. Let's cut this part. Let's expose this. There we go. Now I'm just going to stick it in here so it stands a little bit. I'm going to put a bit of solder on it. This makes it easy to make a connection. There we go. So now I'm going to connect this like so. And then stick this in fifteen. And I can solder it on the other side and we have a patch so let's check again number 15 is now connected 
success. Okay, so it's not the end of the world if you ruined your copper plating. You just need to be a bit creative and uh, wire it on your own. Oh, and before we leave, let's maybe uh, try to run this. So this is my output and I'm just using a power bar here, connecting it to the daisy. It's working. Funny enough, this is actually working without even soldering it. So like, this potentiometer is not even connected. I do need to solder it. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching. Um, yeah, if you're into synthesizers, you should definitely check our channel. We're making all sorts of wacky instruments. See you in the next video.